Massachusetts. I've got the Schecter on the on the bench here because I don't have any room on my guitar stand because I had it on there and I want to put a different guitar on my guitar stand so I'm gonna get this thing taken apart so that's what we're gonna do. I was looking into pickups these pickups are all rusted out really bad in some spots but uh you know seven string pickups aren't there's no middle ground you know um from what i saw i can go to gfs and get some decent pickups where i won't have to pay an arm and a leg for a six string not so much on the seven string <laughs> so i don't know what i'm gonna do about that We'll find out though. I think I might buy some cheap ones. I know, I know I shouldn't even even be thinking about it, but hear me out. I buy some cheap ones. You know, get the wiring done, get the pickups in, get a bridge. Make sure it all works right and then take my time and pick up a nice set. So, uh, I spent a bunch of money, <laughs> probably more than I should have, on stuff for these projects. Got a soldering iron, uh, I got some lights, some spray paint uh, for, uh, um, for another project. That you guys are going to love this other one, it's going to be awesome, unless it's not, hopefully it is. But uh, yeah, I bought some pickups, uh, I bought a bunch of stuff, I got another camera that you can't see because it's over there getting a different angle <laughs> so I just I had to stop somewhere for now anyways which is why uh, I'm still using this because neck support did make the list and this works for now but anyways that's why I needed room on my guitar stand so let's get this thing taken apart Everything's so rusted. Definitely don't want one of these to break. I really hope that doesn't happen. You gotta go gentle with stuff. So what I'm doing now is because these are really rusted. I don't want them to break. So I'm just kind of jerking them a little bit to break them free. Once they're broken free, then you can go. That's how you do something like that. You don't want to just get in there and jam it in and twist it. It'll snap right off. You just kind of, kind of give it a little, little quick jerks. There we go. Alright, I just heard a little snap though. I hope that was just it breaking free. I don't think so. I think the screw broke. No, it didn't. No breaking. Yeah, these screws are rusted. Hope I don't get tetanus. I don't know what green is. I don't know. 
Yeah, this thing's in rough shape, so I don't know what I'm gonna do. Oh, there goes the nut. Hope the truss rod's not uh, like rusted shut or something. I already know that this has a back bow in it. But let's just throw this on here anyways. So I wonder what the scale's gonna be. That's not it. We have a winner. 25 and a half. Quarter of an inch. So, the screwdriver is too big for that. But this should work. Once again, very gently on tuners, a little screw that holds them in the back. It's really fragile. Broke one on an acoustic guitar that I had. I was giving it away and I had, I had taken the tuner off to mess around with making a canjo. I was using it for that. And then when it was time to give it away, I twisted it too much and it snapped. And it's a mess in there. Whatever that crap is. Sawdust maybe. Something. So yeah, I hope that thing works. Yeah. It's moving. So I'm not gonna worry about that right now. This thing's jacked up. I don't know how much I even really liked it when I was playing in Coil. That was the name of the metal band I was in. Coil. Um, so we did six string and seven string stuff. And we had a, a set list that was six string. We had a set list that was seven string. Right, so, and then we had one song that had to roughly go in the middle. I mean, I guess it didn't have to, but it was our shtick, right? <laughs> one song went somewhere in the middle of the two set lists because, wow. Hello. I gotta kill that. It's a bug. I didn't get it. Freaked me out. I don't know where that freaking bug came from. It just came with, uh, did it come from the guitar? Was it in the guitar? I don't know. Looks like we're gonna have to call maintenance. In the middle, in the one song, we, in the middle of the song, it broke down to this little ditty and the, the bass and the drums kept playing. And then uh, me and the other guitarist, Joel, Joel Warren, switched our guitars from six string to seven string. And then we proceeded to play our seven string songs. Look at this. It's, uh, it's like ingrained in there, indented in. So, man, that bug freaked me out. I don't see any more. I don't know where it came from. I know where it went. Buggy hell. All right, so how do I get these knobs off? Nice and gentle like everything else. Nice and gentle. I, I just grabbed that with this plier and I just kind of rocked it and pulled it. In case you, never, and you guys are wondering how to take a knob off. Nothing special about these knobs. They're just regular old crappy plastic knobs. All right, see this is shielded, right? But, Whoever did it, if they used paint, maybe they used the paint, I don't know. Uh, but um, see, no shielding comes up to, to make the connection. So it just sits on the wood. And it wouldn't have really done anything. With the humbucker pickups, you probably didn't really need it. I guess it can't hurt, right? So yeah. What a mess in here. This guitar is Frankenstein, baby. 
Wires have broken connections. Pots are junk. Old junky green capacitor. Broken connection. Duct tape. All kinds of fun stuff in there. So what do I do, right? Should I take the time and desolder it? Or should I just cut it all out of there because it's all junk anyways? I'm gonna desolder it. I'm gonna tell you why. Because I need to practice. Practice makes perfect. Plus I wanna use my soldering gun. That one's just getting ripped off. It's already practically broken anyways. And look at that. I haven't even read the instruction on this thing. Freaking rock and roll. Hmm. The force is strong with this one. That's one, two pickups. Let's disconnect this ground. Come on, come free. Got it. All right, so everything's disconnected. All these things are rusted really bad and corroded. Of course, they're not gonna wanna turn or they could turn and make a liar out of me. And naturally that's just spinning because why well, would it be easy? I mean, I guess it's not the guitar's fault. clean up anyways the corrosion on this one seems a little worse I don't know if I can salvage them but if I can I will I guess all right let's get this bridge off there's more. I was thinking there was just two. Why would there be just two? <laughs> oh, silly man. Don't you know anything? These are bad. I'm just trying to bend them and twist them in any way I can to get that last screw out. some time to think about it but I think I'm gonna cut this awkward horn you know maybe cut it down there or something I just don't like it I never really have it was just weird so that's it this is as far as I'm going to try and we have the neck Schecter diamond so you can see the frets they're a little rusty but they're otherwise pretty good it's really smooth none of them are jagged none of them are sticking out on the edges so that's quality there and this body next time you see it it's going to be naked naked er naked -er than it is now so that's it thanks guys <laughs> <laughs>